Year and a half without a cold, that's amazing. And I attribute it to washing my hands a lot. Okay. But at home, I don't use the public restrooms because I think you get more germs in the public restroom. And plus, I get very frustrated in there with the, the paper towel dispensers. You know, these automatic paper towels. The dispensers. automatic ones? It doesn't give you enough paper towels. You know, you put your hands on there and it gives you like that much. You can't dry your finger on that much. Yeah. And then you try to go back and get more. It's like it recognizes you. You go, no, no, I just gave you a piece of paper. <laughs> what did you do with that piece of paper I just gave you? I, does, you think it recognizes you? I think it does. Yeah. And you know, if it was, if it was like a blow dryer with a hand, it would do like this. Yeah. That's all you get right it's there. It's the paper equivalent of that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I even went outside the bathroom once. I changed my clothes. I came back in. I used a different voice. I said, boy, my hands are wet. No, no, we know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly who you are. <laughs> and what I also I have, uh, I find frustrating. You got a minute? Yeah. I find that the... Um, you're the, here. We might as well talk. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're not doing anything. Yeah. The toilets in the uh, public restrooms, a lot of them are automatic flushing now. Yes. Uh, which I... I don't like because it does not give you a chance to check your work. <laughs> Seriously, right. I mean, how do you know you don't have worms? Okay, right. for God's sake. Right. Or much less post a picture online. Yeah. Yes. How do, you know, <laughs> how do you know you're not sitting on a bowl of blood? Okay, for God's sake. Kevin. <laughs> No, I'm just. So I'm you're not, saying you're concerned about these things, you turn around and it's gone. Everything is automatic. Uh, Everything's uh, automatic. Every, Everything's automatic. Have you been to CVS? We're on Dr. Oz. Yeah, here. I know. <laughs> have, you, have you been to CVS Pharmacy lately? CVS Pharmacy? Yeah, it's, it's a conspiracy. Nobody works there anymore. We have to scan our own products. Yes, I've noticed that. You scan this your is own. This how they save the money. We're going to be stocking shelves soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then who's giving the shots out? Yeah. They, give, they give flu shots at the. These are customers that are giving the flu shots out. They're making the customers. <laughs> They're making the, the customers give flu shots? They make the customers give the flu shots, then they make them scan their own products, and then they tell us to come back. We're working tomorrow at 7 o'clock. <laughs> it's like endless. You're on the road a lot, performing for people across the country. How is life on the road? <sighs> Difficult? That was a loud sip. <laughs> Could you hear that? That was a loud. And I'll say this it was also ill timed. We're in the middle of a crucial interview. <laughs> And you just break loose. You weren't in any hurry about it, and then took a big, loud slurp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's time we'll never have. But look at that. Look how. Look, look at me looking at you, losing time. If I may. Yeah. In my country, that's a compliment to you. In your country. In some country. Aren't you, you from burp, Connecticut or something? That's the state I'm from. Oh, okay. But the country. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> No, oh, go ahead. You're asking me about life on the road. Ah, life on the road. <laughs> uh. No, you know, Conan, it's like... Um, Are you able to fall um, asleep in hotels? Do you have a problem with that? Because you're constantly... When I'm on the road, and I just was, I just was on the road this, this weekend... Yeah, you're down in Fort Worth. Yeah, I was down in Fort Worth. What, what are you muttering that for? People don't need to know where I was. That's none of their concern. But anyway... <laughs> There's a series of unexplained murders there, and <laughs> trying to distance myself from them. But I'm just curious. You have I... trouble sleeping when you're on the road? Yes. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take I don't it know. I is... don't know, but I really can't sleep in a. I, I couldn't sleep uh, when we had the time zone change. You know. Yes. First I hate of all, that. you got to stay up until two o'clock and change the clocks, which is hor horrible. You don't have to do that. <laughs> No, you change them at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but you don't have to. You can do it in the morning. You don't have to be there at 2. Mm. <laughs> Not if you have an appointment. <laughs> no. So you were up at 2 oh, and you so, changed all um, your clocks. Okay. Yeah, well, here's the problem. I, I've been having nightmares lately. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a recurring nightmare. Not reoccurring, but recurring. Sure. And um, it's always a, it's a chimp attack, chimpanzee attack. A chimp attack. Yeah. I mean, I used to be afraid of shark attacks. Sure. And, uh, but I've been getting these chimpanzee attack nightmares. Not the little chimpanzee, not the cute one with the sweater vest and the, and the suspenders. <laughs> That's Larry King. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking, no. I'm I fear talking. a Larry King attack more than anything else, but <laughs> you're afraid of it. Well, chimps are very strong, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they are. They're the strength of four grown men, usually. They, they always they say usually that, come yeah. come up with the four, it's usually four. I don't know how they come up with that number. Maybe they start with one grown man. You know, get in the cage. Let's see who's stronger. We'll get, whoa, whoa, two grown men, two grown men. Come on, two, two, two. You know, until they get the four. Yeah. It costs six lives, but it's worth the study. But, um...